You are tearing me apart, Lisa! The Disaster Artist came out on December 1st of 2017, nationwide on December 8th, the day I went to go see it. Well, this was a very interesting film on the story, the man, the myth, the legend, Tommy Wiseau, <laughs> directed by James Franco. I went to go see it on Friday and this is what I thought about it. As many of us fans of this film know, this, The Disaster Artist is based on the whole creation of one of the worst, or arguably one of the worst films of all time, The Room. It's always been loved by all movie fans around the world, which is by being a terrible movie, it's such a great time to watch. It's the perfect example of a so bad it's good film. And this movie reveals the story, of the behind the scenes of pretty much of how this movie was made. And the big dreams that these people had of Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau wanting to be big Hollywood stars and make big Hollywood movies. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau says, played by James Franco and Dave Franco, respectively. And how this film was when we begin to learn more about the true creation and the true passion that was really put into this movie. There's really, ironically, not many spoilers to go on because it's a biography like this is a real life story you can't really spoil something that happened in real life i was so excited because i'm personally a very big fan of the movie the room of how terrible but funny it is at the same time and i was very excited to see that i really first thought it was just gonna be an amazing comedy of like how terrible this movie was made and the big disaster making this movie but surprisingly while of course obviously there's no way this wasn't gonna be an amazing hilarious time but despite that this movie of course aside from being very funny it still managed to be a very touching and emotional story about following your dreams. A very surprise. I did not see that coming at all. It's a very touching story of how you more you get to learn about Tommy Wiseau or as much as we can because despite the only thing I could really be disappointed about this movie, the only flaw I can really give that isn't really the movie's fault because in real life, as you all know, if you're a fan of this movie, of The Room, you know that Tommy Wiseau is this very mysterious character that we barely know any uh, anything about him. We don't know where he comes from. We don't know his age. We don't know where he even got the money to make The Room which I'll mention was six million dollars believed to cost uh, the, the cost of the movie to be made that there's almost nothing known about him he's just big question mark you get to notice that throughout the movie he's this very mysterious character but despite all that you somehow seem to care about him and he's really this very interesting person of how throughout the movie you can tell he can be a very big asshole to people very, you dislike him a lot it's very hard to say but you sort of don't really like him throughout the movie because he's an asshole to a lot of people when he's making this movie he makes a lot of people uncomfortable throughout the production plan that went down and got a lot of people set which is why some of the most famous scenes of this movie where we laugh at like the scene on the rooftop where he goes i did not hit her at all hi Mark or when he's screaming you are tearing me apart Lisa <laughs> a lot of it was done because people were so sick of working with him which famously by the way he had to replace his screen four freaking times apparently I've read that people were just so done with him that they just wanted to get it done they didn't care if it was bad or good as long as he got the lines right they're like whatever fuck get it out we, we want to finish this and even <laughs> it shows in the movie that the production um dates were supposed to only be 40 days and it got up to like I, I think at the end it ended up at the count of 88 days something like that can <laughs> remember exactly but it was way over the limit of when it was supposed to be over a production time but you really seem to care about him because you can tell that despite him being an asshole he didn't do it because he was an asshole but he cared so much about his dreams and would just do all this crazy shit no matter how much it would embarrass him and make a complete fool to follow his dreams of becoming a big hollywood star and releasing a big hollywood movie <laughs> because he cared so much to do about it and it's really sad in the end when you see that he was just made a big joke but it's almost amazing and then how touching it gets that he manages to live with this and work with it and it brings this amazing story that I was personally actually very inspired by that you don't even necessarily or at least the message that I got you don't necessarily have to be great at what you're doing but as long as you know how to promote yourself or get your name out there anything can be possible but to sort of give my score and what I thought about the movie as a, a quick little summary the room is an amazing experience that while being an immensely funny movie it can still be a very touching and interesting and emotional story at the same time and this is all perfectly once again, it's not a very big revolutionary movie, obviously. It's just a biography film telling the story and the life of a character. But at the same time, it's one of the best ones I've seen for simply the fact that it's a very different type where it's not really somebody who, in the end, achieved his big dreams or these big goals and changed the world. He ended up technically failing at them, but still finding success in the end. I can not I can talk about this film for hours. I had such a good time, but I think I've said enough. Um, my score, I'm going to personally give a 9 out of 10. It was a amazing movie, one of the best biography films I've seen. By <laughs> Fuck, I almost fucked that. Good job, me! <laughs> it was just such a great time and such a great fun watch and an interesting film to see that it was... 
uh, please go watch this movie is what I'm trying to say take your friends take your family I really hope this uh, review managed to you know entice you and interest you to go see it Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the review. New videos coming out soon. Like I mentioned earlier, I think, in this review, I am going to start doing some special things that, of course, I'm. if you've never seen The Room, I am planning to review soon with this new reviews that I'm doing. I'm talking about old films, films that have already passed out that they weren't recent films that have just been released. I'm going to be starting, hopefully, by next week when I talk about a little few sci-fi films that... I've personally changed my life and will soon a new installment will be coming out next Thursday or Friday. It depends when you watch it. A little film maybe involving some cool space battles and space laser swords. <laughs> you probably know what it is at this point. But hopefully they'll get it out by next Wednesday or Tuesday my hope is. But anyway, thank you all for watching my review of The Disaster Artist. Hope you all have a great day or night if you're watching this end. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Now I'm personally thinking how fun it would be to dress up as Tommy Wiseau for Halloween. I need to find a wig somewhere.